Women are the backbone and foundation of this country. They are the ones who don't wear the job, they do the job. It's time to quit walking over them and let them lead. And Kamala Harris will be a great president, a lot better than any man. You know, men have this, uh, I'll just say this, since Kamala Harris has become the presidential candidate, to much to the chagrin of a lot of Republicans and especially Donald Trump. Donald Trump fears women. He's not, he does, I don't see him being friends with women. He owns them, he pays them off, he pays them to pee on him, but he's not friends with women. I was raised by a single mom. My father was in the Marine Corps, and he was such a deadbeat, he couldn't even pay the $50 a month for our child support. So my mom raised me by herself with hardly any skills, and uh, he did that a couple times. He's a big, you know, wow, big Marine Corps, hard. The reason he joined the Marine Corps is because he faced going to jail for committing crimes. He escaped into the Marine Corps by forging his name and then went to Vietnam for like 12 years. You know, he used to brag about, they tried to put me in jail for killing people, now they give me medals. Wow, that's a hero. His bull clap, man, I don't like it. And men are like that. I had a stepdad for a while. He loved too. Most men will get some lady pregnant. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I'm the only child. But most men get a woman pregnant, find out she's pregnant, and then just go to the state of denial and never talk to them and hope they don't crack them down later. Women are stuck with the burden of raising a child, and therefore, they have my support 100%. They are like the brick wall behind me, strong, impenetrable. But men, I've seen so many people just trash women, especially Kamala Harris, when uh, she is running for president, and... Uh, <laughs> They're afraid of women, I guarantee you. You know, I had a medical problem a couple of years ago, was a stroke, and uh, went in the hospital, and it messed with my eyes up. I've seen a number of doctors. Men just wear the job, the women do the job. My eye doctor, both of them, Chinese, the first one, and I'm not sure where my, doc, my eye doctor as a retina clinic is now, but, you know, these people who don't like foreigners, they don't, they're too lazy to work, but they're stealing our jobs. It's just baloney, man. You're, you're afraid. You're scared. And well, big bravado, we need a man to do it. No, you don't. Every woman that fixed me was a woman. There was no men. They just come in, do the little thing. They, it's a totally different attitude, too. They like, when I say, what's your name? Call me doctor. When the women, when I ask them their name, because we're, on, we're in a relationship with our health care here, I ask for the first name, and they always tell me. So I think it's time for men to find their place and get into it. I've never had good experiences with only a handful of men in my life. The rest are a bunch of dumbass, bravado, scared of women, idiots. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. And you. And you. And you. So get with it. Let's get Kamala Harris into office and let her prove that women have a part in this. Trump wants a plan where they send the women back to like 1870 that says in the Project 2025, no woman shall occupy a position of power at any company or corporation. They want you pregnant, barefoot, breeding children because they're afraid of the black men too and non-white people. You see, abortions are predominantly had by white women. 72%. Because some guy got her pregnant and left. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's not hard math. And you know what I'm talking about, all of you guys. You've all known what I'm talking about. But you're too afraid to have a vasectomy. They might, they might cut on my, my precious dong along. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. But it saves a lot of women a lot of pain. You know? Irresponsible, spoiled brats. And it's time that the women stand up be the brick wall. They're, the, they're nowadays, they're the ones who go to work all the time and raise the kids. Give them some respect. Because most dads, everyone I know except one, just never showed up. They'd say they're showing up on Saturday, wouldn't show up. I have no faith in men, period. If you want something done like your sewer, call them. They love to wallow in the poop. That's all I got to say about this. Vote for Kamala Harris in 2024, and you won't regret it. I'm telling you from experience. My mother raised me by herself with no help. She couldn't even get a credit card without a man to sign with her, a husband. That was just in 1970, 1980. And Trump wants to take that away with Project 2025. You just don't realize the crap that's in that and it's, it's, it's all Christian stuff. Trump is, I remember Trump saying on a David Letterman interview, when he, he said, are you going to run for president? You should run for president, somebody. Just as a joke, he said, if I do, Trump said, if I do run for president, it'll be as a Republican because those people will believe anything you tell them if you tell them enough. They believe the religion stuff about life after death. They'll believe anything. Right there. And I dare you to find the video. I used to, I've seen it a bunch. He's probably just paid to have it taken down now. But he's the most unchristian idiot I've ever seen. But he uses that to get what he wants. And the thing about Christianity is, it tells you, don't question. Well, duh, who do you think runs Christianity? Satan was cast out of heaven to rule earth. Bingo. Why wouldn't he take over religion? You know? That's all I got to say.